I'm Catherine Sampson, and today we've reached the ninth in our series where we analyze what makes an outstanding piece of graphic design. It's the logo design for the Mexico Olympics in 1968. The 1968 Olympics took place in Mexico City. It was the first games ever to be hosted in a Latin American country. And for Mexico City, the event was an opportunity to show the world that there are metropolises worthy as London, Berlin, Rome or Tokyo to host this huge international affair. In the decades leading up to the 1968 Olympics, Mexico had gone through a period of major economic growth, which would come to be known as the Mexican miracle. The country had rapidly industrialized and urbanized and its capital, Mexico City, had grown into an enormous metropolis. The Olympic organizers decided to hold an international competition to find a designer who would create a logo and graphic design campaign for the games. They wanted a new look that was cosmopolitan and contemporary, but also distinctly Mexican. One of the contenders who flew down for a trial period was Lance Wyman, a 29-year-old graphic designer from New York City. He and his partner, Peter Murdoch, could afford only one-way tickets. They went in November of 1966, to try to design a logo that would represent Mexico. The brief came from the Mexican Olympic Committee chairman. Create an image showing that the games are in Mexico, but isn't an image of a Mexican wearing a sombrero sleeping under a cactus. The pair started where most tourists would start, by visiting museums. They spent a lot of time at the Museum of Anthropology, where they studied artifacts from pre-Columbian Mexico, such as the Aztec sunstone and ancient Mayan murals. The bold lines, bright colours and geometric shapes reminded Wyman of the kind of optical art that was popular among contemporary artists back in New York. Wyman thought they should take advantage of the circles in the digits of 68 and blend those circles into the five Olympic rings. Additionally, the techniques of optical art, which uses contrast and geometry to create an illusion of movement, were employed as waves of lines surrounding the text and numbers. Those lines were based on a new font that Wyman and Murdoch created, made up of three lines that always curved, but never bent. Their design was so impactful that the Olympic Organizing Committee began employing their design in collaterals even before they informed Wyman and Murdoch that they'd won the competition. The resulting three-line structure of the 68 numbers became the typography for the word Mexico, and the logo was born. Wyman said, I don't know what came first recognizing the logical relationships in the geometry or intuitively following my nose and exploring the obvious and just letting it happen. He then turned the striking and entrancing logo he created into a typeface, which was then used all over the city to actively build up the excitement and promote the games. Wyman and Murdoch stayed in Mexico for a further two years to continue their work on the branding, along with a team of mostly Mexican designers. They came up with different ideas to use the logo, typeface and branding all over the city, even the uniforms that the staff and volunteers wore. 